We just scored a touchdown with this fall front porch makeover. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're gonna tackle a front porch fall decor makeover. That's like football fall. Well, it's September 1st and fall is in the air. If you've been anywhere, you'll see all the fall stuff out. So we're really excited to do a fall front porch football makeover. That's what Fall I football front, front porch, porch makeover. makeover. Yeah. <laughs> that was really hard to say. And we have a bunch of new stuff and I'm excited to show you. We're gonna paint it today and then we're gonna do a whole decoration at the end and put it all together. We have four projects for you today. We have a door leaner, a door hanger, a plant stake, and a standing truck. Oh, yeah, you wanna do it again? I forgot my kickoff joke. <laughs> we're gonna kick it off. <laughs> <laughs> with a fall football front porch makeover. <laughs> Project number one is gonna be our porch leaner. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a one by 12 by 48 inches. Yeah, this is a little smaller than our typical porch leaners. We normally do six feet. This one's 48 inches and only one board. And then we needed our football field leaner kit. It comes in three easy pieces here. Three easy pieces. It is three easy pieces. <laughs> and we needed some exterior house paint. This board is not weather resistant, so the exterior house paint will make it a little weather resistant and fade resistant. And we needed some glue. We like this Starbond thick. We use it on everything. It's like our Frank's Red Hot. It is like our Frank's Red Hot. Step two. Time to paint. We're gonna paint our backer with our exterior house paint in this bright green so that it looks like a football turf. We're gonna paint both sides. Because this board isn't weather resistant, we're gonna make sure we get paint on all sides to help keep it weather resistant. Top and bottom? Yep. Step three. Time to paint the design. This one's really easy to paint. We're gonna paint our yard lines white. That's so super simple. And then the great thing about this kit and what makes it so versatile and it'll work for any team is that our letters are outlined. You'll see that you have three layers of letters here or three outlines for each letter and you can paint those in your favorite team colors. to glue it down. We're gonna use this star bond and we're gonna start with the yard lines. We're just gonna stack the yard lines. We're gonna glue them down. I'm just gonna outline each of these frames with some of that star bond thick. I'm gonna try to get most of it on the letters so those letters really stick. Then I'm gonna flip it, do the next one, all three, and then I'm gonna press them all down to make sure they're nice and stuck. Now we're gonna put our letters on the board. So the yard lines also have those letters in there. We're just gonna regroup all of our letters, throw some glue on the backer, and then flip the letter down. I'm trying to drop all three pieces at the same time. I found it was easy to line up one edge and then lay it down like a flap. Yes. All right, what do you think? Porch ready, right? So cute. All right, next project. Project number one. We're gonna do a door hanger. This is project number two. Oh yeah, all right, right. <laughs> yeah. Project number two, football door hanger. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed the door hanger kit. I'm pretty stoked on this new design because of the split middle. Yes, this door hanger kit, so we worked on this one. I think this one's gonna be great because it's gonna be versatile, again, like the leaner, this will be paintable for any team colors. So there's two sides here. You can paint two different colors here. We're gonna leave the bottom and the top that turf green and team colors in the middle. We also have the font for welcome here. It are those same outline letters that we used on the leaner. They're outlined here so you can paint these in your team colors as well. Yeah. 
So I love this kit because it's going to be super versatile for any team. Step two. Now we paint. So the tricky thing about this one is that the bottom half is an overlay. So we're going to paint the bottom half of the backer white and the overlay green. So you'll be able to see the white through it. And then we're going to paint the top half of the backer green for that turf color. And then the neat thing we're gonna do here is the overlay has all of those X's and O's cut out the bottom. We're just gonna throw a couple of those X's and O's on the top here to show that the play continues. And I made this arrow here cut in the middle down below so you can use that same arrow up top. Kind of round it out like a frame. Step three, we're gonna glue it down. <laughs> we're gonna use the Starbond thick again and we're gonna glue all of the pieces to the backer. These two pieces are the center banner. These are the two pieces that you get to paint your team colors. Anybody guess our team colors yet? <laughs> now to glue the bottom piece, I'm just gonna go all around the edge. Then I'm gonna hit the meaty parts in the middle where I can get a lot of glue on. And I'm gonna make sure to dab each one of those little circles in the middle so that they don't pop off. And then once you lay it down, you'll be able to see that white backer through the overlay. Like for all of our kits, it's best to work bottom up. So we'll make sure the bottom is nice and level and then we can work up from there knowing that everything else should land in place. Now we're gonna pick four random X's from the cutouts and remember that arrow that we had. We're gonna glue the arrow and four little X's up at the top just to try to continue that play all the way up the backer. Step four, time to add the exits. <laughs> Here, we're gonna add a bow. It's really simple. We're just gonna use about 24 inches of this burlap. I'm gonna use four coordinating pieces of ribbon at about nine inches in length, each of them. Dovetail the ends of the ribbon, stack them, and attach them with a zip tie. We're gonna use a piece of 18 inch ribbon for the hanger. The backer has some ribbon holes, so we're just gonna poke the ribbon through and tie a knot, done. Now we're gonna zip tie the bow to the hanger. All right, what do you think? Pretty easy, right? Again, another easy one. Isn't that great? Don't you love how versatile this is? Again, you can paint these two pieces your team colors, and you can paint these coordinating letters. I like how they match with the leaner. We got another one to come. Project number three, a plant steak for your mums. I apologize to all of the British people out there. Hey, we, we appreciate that. No fall front porch is complete without some mums. So I thought this would be a great idea to add into your, any plants you might have. I'm hoping to add some more coordinating plant steaks that go with Ooh. door hangers. So this is our first one. Yeah, it's just like a little extra accent for the front porch. Yeah, tie little, it all together. Little unexpected accent. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We just have the plant steak kit. It's a football with some leaves. Yeah, it's a, a large size football. This is a plant steak. I might have gone a little big. Yeah. It's like 18 inches. I think it's 18 inches from yeah. end to end, plus um, whatever yeah. the steak is. It's pretty big. I mean, it's hefty. Like, <laughs> I could definitely defend us with something like this. <laughs> but I think it's going to look great in your planters right by the front door. Step two. Ooh, now we paint. <laughs> this one is pretty easy. You just need to paint the two center leaves on the backer part. And that's because the football is gonna cover the center and then our leaves here, we have one on either side, are gonna be two layered just to give it some dimension. So you'll wanna paint the center leaves on the backer and then your leaf accents that come with the kit. The football is easy to paint. It's in like five or six, 10 different pieces. <laughs> <laughs> you just paint it like a football. And then this is where you get to get creative with the leaves, but I'm not very leaf creative today. Step three, <laughs> we're gonna glue it all together using that star bomb thick again. We have all of our little pieces painted. Now we're just gonna put a ton of glue on the backer and just assemble everything back onto the backer. I mean, this one's pretty easy. We're gonna start with the football though because we'll wanna add the leaves after we place our football. Uh -huh. 
Ah, there you go. Ooh, I could really do <laughs> some damage with this thing. Yeah, these leaves. With all these might, spikes on it. Yeah, and these leaves might poke your eye. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's getting hurt on this one. Look how cute that is. That's great. Project number four. A double-sided standing truck. I'm super stoked on this one. I had to lobby Kim to get this one in this project because yes, it was very this was last last minute entry. Very last minute. Yes, he barely got this one done, and I didn't think we were gonna have time to add it into this filming. But I'm so glad that we did yeah. because I'm super excited about it. It looks so cute, and I cannot wait to see what this looks to like, all painted and put together. This actually has. Like, like he said, six sides. Yes. It's going to be pretty beefy. This pretty one's layered. Gonna be two sided and two sided pumpkin. And best of all, you're going to be happy to know it is interchangeable. So yeah, we are going to have all of our interchangeable yeah. accents. And I'm going to make all the interchangeable pieces double sided too. So yeah, I think it would be cool. Yes. Step one. We're going to gather all of our supplies. That's the kit that I was just raving about. <laughs> Step two, time to paint. Should be a super easy paint. We're just gonna roll everything blue and then paint the back like brown. So the reason why we're doing this one in blue is not necessarily because of our team colors. It does happen to match, but we were in Michael's recently and other fall decor, the blue truck is in this year, so. Yeah, well, I noticed they updated all their trucks too. The trucks went from like a 50s, 60s feel to like a 70s feel. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad I updated my truck at the same time. Yeah, this is a new updated truck design for us. And we're going to paint it in that new blue color. So I'm excited to see how it looks. I'll paint it up. The truck body comes in three pieces. There's the base. There's the layer with the fencing on it. And then there's the fender. Fender layer. Thank you. And then the tires are supposed to look like they have white walls on them. So the center ring of the tires should be painted a, an opposite color, like a white. We used a very, very light gray here. And then we painted our hubcaps black. Yeah, standard black. We also painted our little door handle, that same silver or the color, whatever we used in the inside of the, uh, the tire there. Yep, and we didn't bother to paint the insides because they're going to be glued together and then we left the windows out because you'll be able to gives see through that, that. Gives it that breezy look. <laughs> that, that breezy wind blowing look. <laughs> we have our standard pumpkin that we're painting, our orange and green, and then with a black frame. I we like when it has a frame because then I don't really have to paint very neatly for the pieces on the inside. Yes, that is so nice. Step three. Time to glue. You think I get better at the catches as we get this far into the video? Nope, they only get worse. So we're gonna glue all of our layers down. We're gonna glue all, little, all of our little layers together using the star bond. Kim's gonna take one side, I'm gonna take one side, and we'll see who finishes first. Then we're just gonna squeeze both sides together. I'm gonna hold it for a couple of minutes. Count to 30, probably 60. To glue our accents this time, because we've painted both sides, because the truck is visible on both sides, you can use it either way. We're going to make sure that we glue the inside of each layer here for our star and our pumpkin. And then we're going to stand them upright for drying. Now, if a little bit of glue seeps out of the little seam there, you can just take one of those makeup sponges and just dab it. It kind of spreads it out and absorbs some of that excess glue at the same time. Yeah, we found that is, that's our pro tip for today. Pro tip. <laughs> if you get glue on something, don't try and wipe it. It'll leave a mess, but use one of the makeup sponges and dab it. It'll soak up that glue. And that's the best way we found to pick up the excess glue. All right, we ready? I'm ready. Let's see if we get it in the holes. All right, we're in the holes. Looking great. Put my little pumpkin in. So this has enough room for one accent oh. or to tightly squeeze in a second accent. There you go, you can see it either way. 
Now that we've completed all four projects, let's set them up outside and see how they look. It's like they're gonna be a transformation. What'd you think? Which one's your favorite? I can tell you right now, mine is the truck. I love this new truck. I love how it's standing. I love how big it is. I love that it's got a little door handle on it. I've heard nothing but great things about this truck from Garrett. <laughs> He's super excited about it. I personally love the um, flexibility in the football signs. I love that the round can be made into your team's colors yeah. as well as the vertical. And I'm like super excited about creating, coordinating plant stakes to go with our door rounds now. I think that's gonna be really fun. I think we're gonna start doing like this trio here. Oh, the leaner, the, whole theme? the leaner, the stake, the door round. We're not just doing signs, we're doing themes now. Themes, right, isn't that yes. fun? And the theme of today's is how much I love our patrons. <laughs> we love you guys. Uh, we, we have a patron after show call or a patron Zoom call coming up in, like in a week. A couple like weeks. Right around, the, right around the corner. It it's feels the like third, it's the third week of the month. It sneaks up on me every time. And we're adding some fun new things. Um, you guys can give me your thoughts and your, I'm going to put a little vote out there. We, we give you guys polls all the time on Patreon. And tell me if you guys want some um, like reaction videos where we watch some DIY and then share our thoughts on the DIY project. Oh, I don't know. That might, we might offend some people. <laughs> all well, good things. All good all things. Good things. <laughs> well, we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we, he we hope to see you on Tuesdays where we have test cut Tuesdays. And, and we're always, live. Yeah, you it's guys, live. So. We love the interaction. So I appreciate that. I get to find out if my us. files work live on air <laughs> yep. in front of everybody. <laughs> yep. So far, everything has gone swimmingly. No disasters yet. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs>